about a month or two ago, uh, Netflix with this latest Android app update gave you the ability to download certain uh, movies and TV episodes from the app. But when they first released it, you were only able to download it and keep it on your local storage and not on an SD card. But with their latest updates, they've actually improved that. So now you can actually download them directly to your SD card. So you could put in, say, like a 128 gig SD card and keep your uh, Netflix movies and TV shows on that so you don't use up your main storage. So if you go up here to the upper left corner, you'll have a bail, uh, different things. This is what they first added. They added available for download and my downloads. So if you click available for download, you can see all different, again, movies and choices f that are available so that you can download them. And also if you just go to the normal video view or movie view and look, it will tell you which ones. So you look here, click on one movie here. And if you see next to where you could add to your list, if you see the download icon there, that means it's available for download. But first you want to set up to uh, download to your SD card. So you want to scroll down and get to app settings. And then here you can actually see at the very bottom how much internal storage you have and how much you have free. And it also tells you how much your Netflix is using up. So on my phone here I'm using 0.94 gigs, it's just 940 megs. And on my SD card I have almost nothing right currently. But I'm using just under 5 gigs on the card, but I have 115 gigabytes free versus 11 on my internal storage. So I'd want to make this or have this video uh, download to the SD card. So if you look in here, you could also adjust the uh, video quality between high and standard. Uh, if you have a lot of storage, then I could probably tell you to go with high. If you're limited, you could go with the standard. It's still pretty good quality. But if you have the room, I would go with high. And then right below that, you see download location. You click on that, and that gives you your either choice of internal storage or SD card. So make sure you have SD card selected. And then once you get that done, hit the back arrow, and then go to the movie you want to download. And then just choose download. And here you can see... I have a few episodes of Stranger Things downloaded. That's the 0.94 gigs. But now this one is going to my local card. And then if I go back to the settings here, go to app settings. You can now see my SD card. The Netflix part was basically just a few bytes. Now it's at 98 megabytes. And as it downloads, if you go back, just go to a different movie here. And this one's also available for download. But then I can go back to app settings. And you can see now it's at 219 megabytes. So it does show that it is indeed uh, downloading to my SD card. So that way you don't use up your local space that you probably use for applications and everything. But that allows you to get a big SD card and have them so that way even without um, Wi-Fi or any kind of data connection, you could open up your Netflix app and watch the movies that you've downloaded if you don't have a connection to a data source. So hopefully you found this useful and thank you for watching.